Welcome to today's show. Today we are at beautiful Lake Winnipesaukee and what we are going to be doing is giving you the beginner's guide on how to row. One of the biggest problems we see when people start out rowing is lacking a lot of the rhythm and timing that goes along with getting on the erg. So today's concept to erg is what you're going to find inside most gyms. But the reason we've built this program, it's called Aerobic Monsters, because we want to help people build their aerobic system and ideally practicing a 5K. So you're going to be inside 20 to 30 minutes. And in order to do that, we need to really be able to practice on rhythm, timing, and not wasting energy while we're rowing. And I've put together a five-step kind of rhythm and timing plan for beginners to understand how to get in good positions and not be dumping power over the idea of 20 minutes straight of rowing because each stroke that we take that is inefficient we're costing ourselves power we're costing ourselves a lot of energy and just over time and accumulating that many reps we start to just lose a lot of speed and time and power throughout the entire workout so for most people what we want to do we want to grab the handle and for the aerobic monster program make sure you just get down into the description right now that's where we're going to be having a sale for you guys just use the coupon code shrugged save 10 percent and we're going to build your aerobic capacity on the erg and you're going to crush it it's going to be great so get into the description right now when we start on the erg i want you to start in the finished position it's always easier starting in a finished position because everybody is comfortable in this position legs are extended we're gonna have our ribs down so we're not flared out here protecting our low back. Our abs are gonna be on and our elbows are gonna be down. We don't need to have a death grip on the handle here and we're just gonna be touching basically our top abs or our sternum. And from here, step one and our cue is going to be just hands. And this is just where we push the handle away from our body. Again, I don't wanna see the death grip. There's no reason to hold this thing as tight as possible so we can loosely hold it. Step one is just hands. Everything in our core stays tight, our ribs stay down, our glutes are slightly on in this seated position, and it gives us an, a good ability to get into the functional movement patterns that we're gonna be thinking about, right? So the next one, when we think about functional movements, it's always big joint to small joint. So for lower body movements, we're always thinking hips, big muscle groups in our glutes, quads, getting into the knee, and then into the ankle, right? So as we progress through this, we drive the hands away. That's hands. The next step is going to be a slight hinge in the hip. This is where we're going to be getting our, the, the most power out of our stroke. So we hinge at the hip. Notice I don't round forward in my thoracic spine. We're nice and tight. Everything stays tight and we just hinge slightly. You're gonna feel a slight stretch in your hamstring from here. The next step is going to be a slight bend in our knee. And if you've ever lifted weights or been around a barbell, you'll notice this is very similar to a deadlift position, except the handle is gonna be a little bit away from us where a barbell would be close to our shins here. So when we're thinking about this rhythm, the first three steps are hands, hips, knees, brace, and that's where we're going to reset our abs and our breath as we start to move away from the rower. And then step five is drive. So when we break that down, good position, ribs down, abs on, glutes slightly on. Hands push away. We load the biggest joint, our hips, in this hinge position. Slight bend of the knee as we come towards our feet. Good position right here. And this is where we brace our abs. So we take that big breath into our belly, brace, and then we drive away and finish. And when we create that rhythm, this is what it sounds like as we begin to get really comfortable over time. It's going to be hands, hips, knees, brace, drive. And it doesn't matter how hard we're rowing, how slow we're rolling, what the rowing, or how long of a distance we're going. It could be an hour, it could be two hours, we could be racing a 500 meter all out. The rhythm never changes. What we want to think about is maybe speeding up through that rhythm, but it's always hands, hips, knees, brace, drive. Hands, hips, knees, brace, drive. Now, if you want to go faster, we keep the same rhythm. It's just the drive away with our legs becomes much more exaggerated. When we think about that power curve, the reason we brace is because as soon as we start to push away, that is where we start to see any uh, any weakness in our core 
is going to have weakness on the chain, right? So if we're here and we lose our back, as we push away, the chain doesn't move. So we need to stay nice and braced with the tight spine, tight abs, driving away, and we finish back. Hands, hips, knees, brace, drive. Hands, hips, knees, brace, drive. That brace is always a big breath into our belly. And today we're gonna go 500 meters, five sets on the five minutes. So it's gonna be a five round workout. We're gonna go 500 all out. We're gonna rest until the five minute mark. 25 minute total workout with five all out 500 meters. Make sure you get into the description below. Sign up for Aerobic Monster if you want to build an engine and get really comfortable on the Comset 2 ERG. Use the code SHRUG to save 10% and we'll see you guys next week.